everybody, Karen Roby, Taryn and Ray here for ZDNet talking about the COVID vaccine uh, and the role of AI. This is a really interesting article here that you put together, Taryn, and uh, give us some of the highlights here of, of, of how AI is going to help identify important information. Everyone got excited in recent weeks, Karen, because Moderna and Pfizer and AstraZeneca each came out with surprisingly good results from phase three clinical trials for their vaccines. These are all in what is called the warp speed project uh, in the US, backed by the US government for vaccines for COVID-19. MIT says you need to have a caveat in there. They've been doing some work with machine learning and started over the summer, we actually covered it before. They developed these machine learning programs that would look at what is the likely coverage of these vaccines, meaning uh, what are the groups in the population that would be well covered. What they found is that coverage is not even for people who are of ancestry that you'd call white, Caucasian, uh, they have the highest coverage for people who are of Black or Asian genetic ancestry. They have somewhat less coverage on a statistical basis. And so they're now updating their research in a new paper saying what we told you this summer applies to all three of these warp speed vaccine efforts based on data that we've gathered uh, and run in our computer models. And you should be aware that it may be an issue for lots of vaccines. Yeah, most definitely. And what's so interesting, I think about w w when you think about AI is the time that it, it can save, uh, you know, the humans doing work. And, and we see this in so many different ways. Um, but, you know, you think about trying to, to, to come up with a vaccine, obviously time is of the essence right now compared to years ago and how AI really is making a difference to find these little pieces of information that they need, um, which are obviously critical as this one. That's really that's a really good point, Karen, because not only did these researchers come out and say there's a thing we're concerned about, they said, hey, we have some things you could do about it. So based again on this work they've done over the summer, originally they had proposed their own vaccine design, which they're not developing because they're not vaccine makers. Um, but they said, based on the work that we did, you could take these extra elements, strings of amino acids, uh, and you could add them into the recipe, the soup that you have for your vaccine, Moderna or Pfizer, uh, or AstraZeneca. And in fact, we're putting it up on GitHub. We're putting all the data up there. We're putting all the computer models up there. And we encourage you to go and look. And so to your point, when the scientists outside of Big Pharma do this work and then share that work, it is an opportunity perhaps to, you could think of it as adding some sort of finishing touches um, to what has already been you know, warp speed, accelerated development to try and improve things. So they're not just pointing out problems. They're saying, you know, we, we, could, we think we can help you um, make things better. Excellent. That collaboration, obviously, uh, you know, so important when you're talking about something that's, uh, you know, life and death for so many people when, you know, when it comes to, to COVID. Uh, Tiernan, again, great article here, really inf uh, inf interesting information all up on ZDNet, and we hope all of you will check it out, and we appreciate you watching today.